Hi there, have you ever experienced the painful discoloration of your fingers in the cold? If so, you may have Raynaud's phenomenon. So, what is Raynaud's phenomenon? Raynaud's phenomenon is characterized by the constriction of blood vessels in the fingers and toes. This disease is also present in other less common sites including the tongue, nose, ears, and nipples. It usually occurs due to stress, emotion, and exposure to colder climates. Did you know that Raynaud's phenomenon involves multiple stages which is characterized through the changing colors of the affected areas? Firstly, the digits turn white which is associated with ischemia. Ischemia is defined as an inadequate amount of blood flow to a certain body part which can occur due to constriction or blockage of blood vessels. The affected area then changes to blue caused by the deoxygenation of the static venous blood followed by the digits turning red from the reperfusion of the area as the blood returns. The disease not only has multiple stages, but it also has different forms of the disease. There are two forms classified as primary and secondary Raynaud's phenomenon. Primary Raynaud's phenomenon is less severe and is not caused by an underlying disease. The severe side effects such as necrosis which is the death of tissues, and ulceration, which is the erosion of the skin, are not present. This is in comparison to the secondary Raynaud's phenomenon, which is associated with other underlying diseases. It is most frequently associated with scleroderma, which is the hardening of the skin and the connective tissues that can occur locally or throughout the body. Raynaud's phenomenon is likely to occur in more than 90% of the patients with scleroderma. Secondary Raynaud's phenomenon tends to be more severe than primary, usually involving necrosis, ulcers, and digital damage. The picture on the left is the primary Raynaud's phenomenon, which is less severe. Notice the paler color of the hands. The picture on the right is the secondary Raynaud's phenomenon, which is more severe. Notice the ulceration of the fingers. You are probably wondering, what are the risk factors for this disease? The risk factors associated with the primary form of the disease include gender, younger age, thin body type, family history, and living in cold climate. Females are more likely to develop Raynaud's due to the fact that young females naturally have around half the blood flow to hands and fingers compared to young men. Secondary Raynaud's phenomenon is predominantly seen in older patients with an onset of greater than 30 years old. Now, we will talk about a theory that describes the mechanism for Raynaud's phenomenon. Researchers do not yet fully understand the development of the disease. We will discuss one possible theory. As it is still just a theory, this mechanism may be proven to be false in the future. According to this theory, Raynaud's disease is caused by the oversensitivity of the sympathetic nerves. Sympathetic nerves, a part of the nervous system, causes the constriction of the blood vessels. However, the exact mechanism of the Raynaud's disease is not fully understood. One of the theories involves the receptors of noradrenaline, which is a molecule released by sympathetic nervous system. In Raynaud's, there is an increase in alpha-2 receptors compared to normal individuals. These receptors are redistributed during cooling. They move to the cell membrane where they can be activated by noradrenaline. This results in the constriction of the blood vessels. So, just like anything else, you can take some steps to treat Raynaud's phenomena. Avoid cold temperatures by wearing warm clothing. This includes wearing loose-fitting clothing, gloves, and headwear. Try to avoid emotional stress and do not smoke as it reduces blood flow. The most common pharmaceutical treatment for this disease is calcium channel blockers. A common calcium channel blocker used is nifedipine. Surgery can be used for very severe Raynaud's phenomena and it usually involves the cutting out of the sympathetic nerves to reduce constriction of the blood vessels. Pharmaceuticals which block the sympathetic receptors, thus preventing the constriction of the blood vessels can also be used. We hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.